Hi, this is Holly at Lifeline Yogis. Thank you for joining me. Today we are at the Yoga Shala in Hang Time Hostel in Sri Lanka. This morning we'll be working through a slow vinyasa flow. Throughout your practice, try to maintain a steady and comfortable position. Try and relax into your pose. And relaxing into any stress parts of the body, any muscles, any joints. And if a position doesn't agree with you, just back off. Don't try and force anything, making any adjustments or modifications that fit your body. Everybody is different. And if it becomes a bit too much for you or you feel dizzy, just take a rest, take a child's pose, relax. And throughout your practice, see if you can match each breath with each movement. Keeping everything slow, everything steady. And if you find that your mind wanders throughout your practice, just bring it back to the breath. And remember, this is your practice, so just doing the best that you can. Working through everything mindfully, listening to your body. If you have any injuries, just take it easy, relax. Bringing in the knees to the chest. Crossing one leg over the other. Grabbing the big toes with the index finger and the middle finger. Raising your legs and just rolling yourself up into a seated position. Into easy pose, Sukhasana. So just relax your hands and the knees. Drawing the shoulder blades slightly down from the ears. And we'll draw the left ear to the left shoulder, moving the head forward slowly, right ear to right shoulder. And again, moving the head forward, left ear to left shoulder. Just making some movement in the neck, in your own timing, making some half circles, keeping it slow. And if it's okay in your neck, making some full circles. Don't throw your head back, just keep it nice and steady. And after you've made a full few circles, just bring in your head slowly back to center. So we'll inhale, reaching both hands up to the sky. And we'll take a twist to so bring in the left hand to the right knee, right arm comes behind, gazing over the right shoulder, feeling a nice twist in the lower spine. Holding for a few breaths. And then we'll inhale, hands back up to the sky. And same thing on the other side, Bring in the right arm to the left knee, left hand comes behind, gazing over the left shoulder. Breathing into the spine. Nice steady breaths. Then we'll bring the hands back to center, back up to the sky, interlacing the fingers together, palms facing up towards the sky. Stretching out the whole upper body. And we'll slowly bring the hands back down to the knees. And we'll bring the hands forward, just making our way into our hands and knees into a tabletop position. So the hands, the wrists, the elbows are directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Spine is nice and long. And doing a few rounds of cat cow. We'll inhale, lift the head, chest up to the sky. Exhale, round in the spine. Again, inhale, lifting the head. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the spine. 
and a few more rounds in your own breath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, round. And again, inhale, lift. And we'll come back to a neutral spine. So bringing the knees wider together, we'll move our sit bones towards our heels, just taking a child's pose. Holding for a few breaths. And on our next inhale, we're gonna thread that right arm under the left arm, resting the right side of the face on the mat. Just opening up the right shoulder, moving the left fingertips forward if you'd like to go deeper into the stretch. And we'll slowly come back into child's pose. And same on the other side, left hand threads through that right arm, resting the left side of the face in the mat, opening up the left shoulder. And we'll slowly come back into child's pose. And from here, we're gonna slowly tuck our toes, lifting the body, making our way into our first downward dog. So you wanna spread the fingers nice and wide, bicycling out the legs here if you'd like to, making some movement in the hamstrings, pushing up through your hands, externally rotating your shoulders. And you can see here that I'm actually sinking too much into my shoulders. You don't want to do that. Pushing through your hands will give you a lift up through your spine, which will naturally push your heels down towards the mat. Just taking a few breaths, checking in with your downward dog. And we'll start to haunt the body by doing a few round of sunya salutation. So inhale, walking the feet to the hands. Exhale, folding over, keeping a nice bend in the knees. And our next inhale, we'll slowly roll our way up to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the hands up to the sky, palms joined together, hands to heart center. And again, inhale, reaching the hands up to the sky, palms joined together. And exhale, we'll lower the arms down, spine is nice and long, again, folding over. Now next inhale, coming into a flat back nice and long, hands to shins, or letting your fingertips just gently touch the ground, gazing forward. Again, exhale, folding over. This time we're gonna step both feet back into a plank pose. Holding here, again, wrists under shoulders, strengthening out through the whole body. And we'll slowly lower down all the way onto our mat. And we're gonna bring the hands just outside of the chest, and our next inhale, coming into baby cobra, Adra Bhajangasana, gazing forward. Nice stretch in the spine. Slowly lowering the head, tucking the toes and pushing ourselves back into downward dog. And again, we'll do a couple more rounds. Inhale, slowly walking the feet to the hands. Exhale, folding over. Inhale, raising up to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae. Hands reaching up to the sky, palms joined together, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, raising the hands up to the sky, joining the palms. Exhale, arms come wide, spine is nice and long, folding over. And inhale, flat back nice and long, gazing forward. Exhale, folding over, stepping back into plank pose. Again, take a long, deep inhale. And as you exhale, bending the elbows, lowering our whole body down to the mat. Again, palms coming outside of the chest. This time, raising ourselves up into a little high cobra. It's warming up the spine, slightly squeezing the elbows together, shoulders drawn from the ears. Lowering down, tucking our toes, making our way back into down dog. We'll do one more round of sun salutation. Inhale, walking the feet to the hands. Exhale, fold. And inhale, raising the whole body up to standing. 
joining the hands up to the sky, palms come together, hands to heart center. Inhale, raising the hands, and exhale, folding over, spine nice and long, bending the knees. And again, inhale, flat back, nice and long, gazing forward. And exhale, folding over. Again, stepping both feet back into plank pose. Taking another deep inhale. And again, we'll exhale, bending the elbows, lowering the whole body down. Palms outside of the chest. This time we'll inhale, coming into an up dog, pressing through the backs of the feet. See if you can lift the thighs off the mat. Again, slowly we're going to make our way back into down dog. Just checking in with your body, keeping your breath nice and slow, nice and steady. And on our next inhale, stepping that left leg into three leg dog, leveling off the hips, toes are pointing down. It's going to feel like you're pushing a wall from the back of the foot. And then from here, we're going to stack that left hip on top of the right hip, bending the left knee, gazing through to the left shoulder, opening up the hip. We'll slowly come back into three leg dog and then we're going to bring that knee into the chest rolling our body out into plank pose and we'll gently step that left foot in between the hands gazing forward grounding down that right knee onto the floor and on our next inhale we'll lift the hands up to the sky coming into a crescent lunge Ajangasana and then as you exhale we'll slowly sink into that left hip so that left knee should be over the heel, turning the back foot to the floor. And then we'll bring our hands out into a T position, interlacing the fingers behind our back. And on our next inhale, we'll gaze up to the sky, interlacing the fingers, opening up the chest, holding for a few breaths, and slowly bringing the hands back up to the sky. Just holding here for a few breaths, lowering the hands down outside of that left foot, tucking the right toes, and we'll step that left foot back into plank pose, again bending the elbows, we'll make our way through upward dog or cobra, and slowly coming back into our down dog. And we'll do the whole thing on the other side, inhale, lifting that right leg, three leg dog, toes are pointing down. And again, we'll stack that right hip on top of the left hip, bending the right knee, opening up the hip, gazing through to the right arm. And we'll slowly come back into three leg dog. And again, bringing in that right knee in towards the chest, rolling into plank pose, lowering down that right foot in between the hands and lowering down the left knee to the ground. And we'll inhale, reaching the hands up to the sky. And again, exhale, just slightly sinking into that right knee. So try not to tip your pelvis forward here, creating a duck tail in your lower back, as this will compress your lower back. Try and draw your tailbone to the floor, lifting the pubic bone forward towards the navel. And again, we'll bring the arms out into a T position, interlacing the fingers behind our back. And we'll inhale, lifting the chest to the sky, slightly dropping the head, feeling a nice stretch here. And we'll slowly release the hands, bringing them back up to the sky. Just taking a long, deep inhale. And again, lowering the hands down outside of that right foot, tucking the left toes, stepping back into plank pose. And again, bending the elbows, making our way through up dog or cobra. And slowly coming back into downward dog. And on our next inhale, lifting that left leg, three leg dog. Again, toes are pointing down. And then bringing the knee into the chest grounding down that left foot in between the hands. And we're also gonna ground down that right foot into about a 45 degree angle. So toes are slightly pointing in. And we'll inhale, reaching the hands up to the sky, straightening out through that left leg. 
And as we exhale, we're going to sink into the left knee. Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. See if you can align your left and your right heel here, squaring off your pelvis, and bending that left knee over the ankle. And we'll inhale, straightening that left leg. Exhale, sinking in. And again, we'll inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, sinking back in. And one more time, we'll inhale, straighten that left leg. And exhale, sinking back in. Holding for a few breaths. And again, lowering the hands down to the floor outside of the left foot, tucking the right toes, step that left foot into plank pose, bending the elbows, making our way through cobra or up dog. And we'll slowly come back into down dog. Again, checking in with your body, checking in with your breath. And we'll inhale, lifting that right leg, three leg dog, squaring off the hips and drawing in that right knee into the chest. We'll ground down that right foot in between the hands. And again, we'll ground down that left foot into about a 45 degree angle, squaring off the pelvis to the front of the mat. And we'll inhale, reaching the hands up to the sky, straightening the right leg and exhale, sinking into that right leg, Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. So try not to tip your pelvis forward here and ducktail your lower back as this will compress your lower back and in the long run can cause some injuries. And we'll inhale straighten in the right leg and exhale sinking in. Again we'll inhale straighten, exhale sinking in. And one more time, inhale straighten and exhale, sinking back into warrior one, one last time. And warrior one is great for stretching our chest, our lungs, strengthening the shoulders, the arms, the back. And slowly breathing. And then we'll lower the hands down outside of the right foot, tucking the left toe, stepping back into plank pose. And again, we'll bend the elbows, up dog or cobra. and slowly in your own timing, coming back into down dog. Again, just taking a few long deep breaths, last downward dog of the day. And then gazing forward, we'll gently step our feet through, coming into a seated position. So we'll bring the legs forward, pointing the toes up to the sky, hands just gently resting outside of the hips. Firming the thighs, slightly rotating them in towards each other, flexing the ankles. Spine is nice and long, gazing forward. Staff pose, Dandasana. And we'll inhale, raising the hands up to the sky. And as you exhale, we're going to reach the hands forward and placing the hands wherever feels good for you. The thighs, the calves, the ankles, the toes and we'll slowly round the spine, forward bend, Paschimottanasana, and press actively through the heels, and when you lean forward, just lean forward with the hips, keeping the spine long. See if you can sink in a little bit deeper as you exhale. No worries if you can't reach the toes, as long as you're breathing into your spine and not causing yourself any pain. Just holding for a few breaths and we'll gaze forward again, bringing the hands up to the sky. Long, deep inhale. And again, exhale, hinging from the hips, hands come forward, spine is nice and long. Placing the hands wherever feels good. Just take a long, deep inhale. And again, exhale, folding over the legs. And if you can, see if you can clasp the hands around the feet lengthening from the torso and if you hold the feet just bending the elbows out to the side but keep them raised off the floor again just holding for a few breaths and gently releasing the hands one more time reaching the hands up to the sky and we'll slowly lower the hands down outside of the hips and we're going to bend the knees, drawing the feet in towards the pelvis. Coming into bound angle, Baddha Konasana. 
soles of the feet together, knees fall out to the sides, bring in the heels in close to the pelvis as much as you can. And don't force your knees down, externally rotate the outer thighs and the knees will follow. First keeping your spine nice and long, take a long deep inhale and as you exhale rounding the spine. See if you can draw the forehead to the toes, no worries if you can't. Just holding for a few breaths. And we'll slowly lift the head, strengthening out the spine and gently drawing in the knees together. And we're gonna set up for a bridge pose. So just lying down on our mat, and we're going to plant the feet under the sit bones, knees stuck over the heels, feet hips distance apart. And grounding down the arms and the palms into the mat. And we'll inhale, lifting the hips up to the sky, pushing through the feet. Squeezing the knees together, squeezing the thighs together. Holding for a few breaths. We'll slowly lower down the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And one more time, we'll inhale, lifting the hips up to the sky. This time, see if you can interlace the fingers behind your back, opening up the shoulders, opening up the chest. Slow, steady breathing. And slowly releasing the hands lowering the spine back down to the mat and you can come into another bridge pose however if you are advanced in your practice coming into a full wheel Udra Dhanurasana grounding down the palms beside the ears bending the elbows fingers pointing towards the shoulders pressing the feet into the floor pushing the tailbone towards the sky lifting the sit bone off the floor keeping the thighs and inner feet parallel Fully breathing into your spine. Holding for a few breaths. And we'll slowly bend the elbows, drawing the chin into the chest, lowering our whole body down towards the mat, slowly coming out of the pose. And just letting the feet rest underneath the sit bones. And we'll gently drawing both knees into the chest. It should feel really nice in your spine. Up in the arms around the legs. And lifting the head and chest off the floor. See if you can touch your nose to the knees. Pavan Muktasana, wind relieving pose. And we'll slowly release the arms from the legs. Again, feet directly under the sit bones. Just taking a few moments to relax. And we'll extend the left leg down to the floor. Drawing in the right knee in towards the chest. Clasp hands around the knee. And we'll move that right leg over to the left side, looking over the right shoulder, shoulder blades pressing down and away from the ears. Don't force your knee to the floor here. Just bring it down as close as you can. Reclined spinal twist, Supta Masendrasana. Should feel really good in your lower spine. long deep breaths starting to cool down from your practice and again drawing the right knee into the chest one last time and we'll slowly extend that right leg down to the left leg onto the mat and we'll inhale lifting that left knee into the chest clasping the hands around the knee and we'll slowly move that left leg over to the right side of the body looking over the left shoulder again don't try and force the knee down just let it go wherever it's meant to go. Pressing the shoulder blades down. Keeping everything relaxed. Long deep breaths. And again, we'll slowly come back through center bringing that left knee into the chest one last time and slowly extending that left leg down to the mat. 
And we'll come into our final relaxation pose, Shavasana. So letting the feet fall out wide, hands wide, palms facing up to the sky, fingers naturally curling. Again, slightly pressing the shoulders away from the ears, closing your eyes. Just taking a few moments to relax. Feeling your muscles melting off the bones. Letting everything become heavy. Relaxing your jaw. Letting the tongue fall from the roof of the mouth. Relaxing the eyelids. Relaxing the whole body completely. And just noticing your natural breath. Coming back to slow, steady breathing. And if your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to the breath. Let it wander. Bring it back to the body, back to the space. And we'll place one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. Again, just noticing your natural breath. We're going to practice some deep breathing here and breathing deeply is a technique which we practice in preparation for pranayama and when you inhale see if you can inhale up to the total capacity of your lungs which will increase breathing efficiency per breath and as you inhale feeling the air filling your stomach rising up to the sky the air moving through the ribcage into the chest chest rises and as you exhale chest lowers down and the stomach lowers down towards the spine and again as you inhale feeling the stomach filled with air chest lifts up to the sky and as you exhale chest lowers down and the stomach lowers down and see if you can inhale for one two three, four, and exhale for one, two, three, four. If you'd like to, you can move your hands down to the floor or keep the hands on the chest and the stomach, whatever feels good for you. See if you can have a ratio of four to four. And in time, you can gradually increase the duration. If you feel short of breath at any time, then you can reduce the counts of deep breathing. And some of the benefits for deep breathing is more oxygen is made available per breath, making the breathing most efficient. Enhanced movement of the diaphragm gives good massage to the internal organs. And it can relax the nervous system, which calms the mind by removing thoughts and emotions. We'll slowly come back to our regular breath. Making some movements in our fingertips and our toes. Gently rocking the head side to side, wakening up the body. Moving the feet side to side and the hands side to side. And we'll draw the legs together raising both hands above the head, interlacing the fingers, stretching out the whole body. And we'll slowly lower the hands back down by the side of the body. And we're gonna clench the fists together, tighten all the muscles in the body, tight, 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 tighten everything. And slowly relax. And again, clenching the fists, tighten all the muscles in the body, tighten everything, and slowly relax. And we'll bend in the left knee, drawing the heel of the foot under the sit bone, right arm raises above the head, left hand just gently relaxing by the side of the body, and we'll slowly roll onto the right side, 
Just staying in fetal position for a few breaths. And letting the head be nice and heavy, we'll roll ourselves up into seated position, Sukhasana Easy Pose. And we'll bring the hands to the heart center, honoring your body, honoring yourself for coming onto your mat. I hope you enjoyed your practice today. Thank you for joining me on your yoga journey. Namaste.